Welcome everyone. It's good to be here. Just turn this up. There we go. Welcome everyone. I'm in a new setting today, tried something different. <laughs> the light's shining in. <laughs> yeah, I think peace is a very beautiful topic, subject to go into today, for me. <laughs> it's been interesting actually because I've been very busy, seemingly in form. There's been much going on and um, that's been really, it's been really nice. I've been uh, going from one thing to another and it's felt really good. But then slowly I felt like I was getting into doing, into this doer mode um, of problem solving. We solve one problem, another problem arises. And for some time I've been going along in this rhythm, which has been wonderful. Um, but then slowly, over the last, it was, it was kind of the last few days, I could see that like I couldn't stop running. I was kind of quite pumped up and I was noticing, hmm, am I actually truly, at, am I actually truly at peace? And it was like, yeah, my, the energy was very high within me. And each time I was doing something, I was thinking about the next thing that I needed to do. I had so many seeming things that were that were going on. Uh, yeah, and I didn't realise that like I couldn't stop. So I we had a we had an expression here, we had the group of us who live here at Quantico um came together and I said, Oh I feel pretty good, but I just have a prayer. Like, I just want to, uh, I feel like I'm just going from one thing to another, problem solving, finding solutions, trying to find solutions at least. Um, and I feel my energy is pretty high, so I want to I wanna, I wanna find that peace. And so I just put that out there. And yeah, that was yesterday, and it and it came very rapidly, and it was one and it's wonderful. It's a wonderful thing that we can just pray like that, and everything is going to be offered that is the truth. Peace is no idle gift. You know, to say you want peace is nothing, but to mean it is everything. As he teaches us. To really, really want peace is to dispel everything. 
to let go of all guilt, to let go of everything that, that, that is in the way of, of peace. And as, and as Jesus teaches in the uh, chapter 19, um, where he says the, first, the obstacles to peace, where he teaches that the first ob obstacle is that you consistently give it away. You keep giving your peace away. And that's like our that that's like our that that's our first step. So maybe you can notice when you're giving your peace away. And that's why I actually thought this morning uh, this this sort of I woke up and I was just in this beautiful peace. My prayer had been completely answered. Um, that I didn't feel that there was anything now to rush to or to get on with or anything, and I just allowed myself to stay in that stillness in that beautiful place and just felt like yeah this is this is the most important thing for me to nurture this is most important what's going on now there's nothing else um, more important than this there's nothing more important than taking this in and taking this into my day and that was that 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 was my prayer my prayer once once that once that experiences cut had come and then I was meditating upon that experience and being and being with it it was yeah I don't want this to end today I don't want to all of a sudden jump up out of out of this meditation and then begin the day again of getting into things as I have been because it can be so quick can't it it's like oh I'm really in this beautiful peace and then all of a sudden something happens and then I'm caught off guard and I'm getting into things and I'm not even recognising that I'm out of peace. And so it takes a lot to continuously remember that peace is our, is our goal, is the only goal. That's the only thing we really have to focus our attention on. Am I at peace? And if I'm not at peace, then there's a forgiveness opportunity. And it was actually wonderful because I think it has been an answer to bigger prayers that 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 uh, uh, over the week that had, that have been happening for me. Um, how did it begin? I can't remember now. <laughs> yeah, I think I was like I've been calling for something. I've been calling for something in my heart, and. Uh, a deeper a, a deeper lesson a deepening in something something has to shift and um i was talking to my friend and um she's into astrology and i haven't been into anything like that really since i since i got the course i used to be interested in all different things but I, but i hadn't been since doing the course really just been focusing on on, on that and she, she's very interested in, in 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 astrology and she started telling me about oh did you know that there's a star in the south that goes to the north and that is like your it's like it's like the learning that you brought seemingly if you believe all this is the, the um the learning that you've brought with you and now what you need to learn to transcend and i was like oh that's interesting and somehow it sort of caught my attention like ah oh, there could be this is the holy spirit is trying to trying to bring me a lesson through and i goes yeah can you find out what mine is she's like oh yeah yeah i'll i'll, I'll, I'll find out for you so she gets online so i, I messaged my mum i said oh because i'd forgotten all this i used to remember i said oh what time was i born she told me so we got it all very very specific and she said she said, yeah, you um, are on this trajectory of learning and um, uh, there's a lot, you've brought a lot of power and you've brought a lot of energy to you and your, and your constellation is filled with spiritual energy. Um, and the thing is with that though, is it can get a little bit destructive <laughs> and uh, 
if it's not used in the correct way. And that's basically what happened with me. She said, oh yeah, there can be a tendency for drinking drugs. And I was like, oh yeah, yeah, that was me. And she said, well, it seems like you moved through all that. So that's good. Um, yeah, that's a good sign. I moved through that. <laughs> that's a bonus. So, um, okay, so now it's being used, used in the correct way. And it said, yeah, this is like, there's this sort of strength, but it's more hard in its approach. And you've sort of mastered that hard sort of strength. But now it's time for this softer strength. And what you're going towards is, is, is a softening um, because you've mastered the, 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 the hardness. And I'm like, yeah, I've heard this all my life. And um, she said, yeah, it's all about it's all about gentleness. And I'm like, oh, God, yeah, here we go again. And um, I said, yeah, well, literally, whoever I've ever spoke to, they, my, my lesson is, I think you need to be gentle with yourself. You're always being too hard on yourself. And she said to me, well, the thing is with this lesson is it's like so, so out of who you think you are that it just feels like unattainable. And I'm like, well, yeah, that's what. That's what gentleness has seemed to me in my mind. It's like, that's like an alien word to me. But I, over these period of years, I've just heard this over and over again. But somehow this time it's sort of like sunk in on a, on a, on a, on a deeper level. It was like, yeah, I could see that this is so far out of my realm that I really need to allow myself to go to go towards this. And in a way, that's such a beautiful thing because I actually, I, I do not know the way to that. I, I don't know how to do that. So she was looking at this, the, at this chart thing and she said, oh yeah, she said, well, the thing is you actually bring a lot of harmony. She said, um, you, can, you, you, you can bring a lot of balance, but if you're out of balance, which you're going towards with this gentleness and everything, then obviously everything becomes, becomes unbalanced. And she said, so your lessons are organisation um, and, and what I'm going towards is like creativity. And, and part of that is like writing. Well, it's so funny because I was terrible at writing at school. I've never, I was, I was awful at all, the, all, all those types of, all those types of things. I found it really difficult, really hard. And it's taken a lot to, to get my mind around it. And she said, yeah, it's like creative, like creative writing, poetry. And I'm like, oh my God, that's just... That's just so far out there for me. So now we've got writing, which I'm, that's followed me throughout all this life. It's like, oh God, I'm completely terrible at that. In, in that way of expressing myself. Um, gentleness, yeah, that's been a real, <laughs> a real difficulty. And she said, oh yeah, and, and through this um, transformation, you will bring a lot of harmony. And I said, yeah, that's been a struggle too. <laughs> I can often bring a lot of disharmony, to be honest. And I thought, wow, that makes that th this this makes like complete sense to me. Um, that I'm really here to bring this harmony, and it's like, well, I, I I just don't know. I just don't know the way to this. I don't I I I don't I don't know how to do this. And of course, that's actually the be that's actually the best thing, is that then we can. I I have to ask for help. I that there's there's no other way around it. I don't know what harmony means. I, I, I don't know how to, how to do that. And she said there, that's how you will transcend yourself through, through, through harmony. And it's like, well, yeah, this makes a lot of sense because that's one thing I haven't really tried. <laughs> and of course, it's not me that's gonna, gonna, gonna do anything. It's, 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 it's the grace of God that will, that will transform anything. But it's like these lessons that seemingly we have, we, we, we have to learn to understand ourselves more deeply and go towards it. Which is really the light when you think about it. You know, often in the course when you look at it, Jesus is teaching gentle lessons. He says that many, many times. They are very gentle. They're gentle steps. They're gentle lessons. And included in the um, manual for teacher, he says the one of the characteristics of a teacher of God is gentleness. So it's a very uh, huge topic in a, in, in, in a Course in Miracles. 
two and it's like okay yeah th th this definitely does feel the complete and utter opposite of what i am so I'm, i i know that's going in the right direction and as i've shared before where you don't want to go that's where you're finding and it's like yeah well i don't know how to go towards this and in actual fact i don't need to know how to go towards it you don't need to know how to go towards your next lessons that will all be provided for you it just comes into the prayer and somehow it just sort of it really went into my heart and i think actually actually how this all began as well is is the day before we watched a uh, documentary on john lennon and it was all of really it, it sort of like went in the direction of basically his death and normally i don't really get affected by these things but but somehow it really really hit me in the heart and it was just like wow look at in an instant his life was seemingly over at 40 years old he just gets shot out of nowhere he's looking forward to the next part of his life and boom boom he's dead on the ground in the middle of new york that's it game over um He's just about to do a new album. The new album's going to be coming out. It's all pretty exciting. Life is feeling pretty good. And then, bam, there it is. It's all, it's, it's all, it's all over with it, within an instant. And what actually really struck me about that was, is really what the tip Course in Miracles is teaching. And it's like, anything that's not peace is, is murderous, is, is hate, is guilt, is shame, is just pure violence. And I can choose to either be in that in this instant or I can choose to be in this peace. And what I saw from the John Lennon movie, it was like, yeah, there was the part of him that was choosing the peace. He really did want to. All right. He was trying to bring peace to the world. We know that peace is inner work. But still, he had a, a bigger, wider message to share with everybody. And that, and, and that was part of it. And yet there was this obsessive side as well. He was obsessed with his wife. He was obsessed with his kid. And then the next minute he gets killed by someone who's obsessed by him. So oh, that's kind of interesting. You better watch what's going on in your mind. Because <laughs> you never know what you're going to draw forth. <laughs> and yeah, sure enough, like, it, you know, obviously, clearly, like everything, everything's all divine timing. Nothing's ever going wrong. That was like the perfect timing. His, his lesson was learned in this phase. And he brought many, many gifts to us all. And I'm here um, sharing his message, you know. And that's really what we're talking about. We're like, give peace a chance, isn't it? It's like today, when we look at today, have we given peace a chance? Have we given the ego's voice a bit more of a chance to disrupt our day? And so I saw this and it touched me deep inside. And I just thought, well, I had to go out actually and do a bit of shopping afterwards. For the community and as i was driving along i thought yeah there's so many opportunities aren't there just to give whether it's just to let someone out in front of you that needs to come out or you know to be kind to the uh to the cashier to be open to everyone to to give that kindness because who's to say what's around the corner so every moment is a holy moment for me to give the true love, the true peace and the true, true, true joy. And it's like, well, yeah, am I doing that in every given, in, in every given moment? Because I don't know when that, sh when that shift may, may occur. And it's like, yeah, wow, that it just cemented in place how important that was for me. You know, I am here to transcend this character to take on this mission fully and i don't know what that what that mission entails but i have to be so willing and to put peace first above everything else because i just don't know what's around the corner and for me you know in linear time i'm 41 and it was like he died when he was 40 and i think that was part of it i was like wow imagine if this body had left now have, have i have i done everything i wanted well in four yeah there's there, there, there's nothing here but is my mind 
in complete alignment with God and I'm ready to ascend. Well, no, I can't say that. So there's plenty of work to be done. So that is my work and my work is forgiveness and my work is peace. So that's the most important thing. And so that is what started this uh, inner inquiry. And then the next day, that's when I was talking to my friend about astrology and thought, OK, maybe there's a maybe there's a message in there for me, in which case it felt like there was. And it's like, yeah, you can bring a lot of harmony. And in fact, it is your it is your job to bring harmony to everything. And I thought, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> I have got that sort of personality <laughs> where if I'm in a bad mood, everyone's in a bad mood. If I'm in a good mood, everyone's in a good mood. It's like somehow I have this energy that can just bring the place down rapidly. Um, I don't hide how I feel. So if I'm, if I'm moody, I'm not going to talk. I'm just going to be, I'm going to be honest. Um, but equally, the, the whole point is, is that to really come into this harmony, and that's what we're here to do, really. We're here to, to give this harmony away. And no one knows the way other than him. So that felt like, yeah, this is making sense in my heart. It just felt very, very beautiful. It just felt like such a gift after watching this John Lennon thing. And then it was funny, actually, these, the, these lessons that come up. Because then the next minute I get a message saying, oh, my friend from family friend, uh, known their family since time began, um, their dad just dies. He has a heart attack. He died two weeks ago in England. And um, he had three sons. I'm friends with all of his three sons. And this was like that now on, now on the Monday after I watched the John Lennon thing. And it was just like that same lesson. Wow, you know, we just, I never saw that one coming. He wasn't exactly old, he was about 67, something like that. Boom, there you go, game over. And again, it was like, wow, I have to give everything. I have to give everything to this day because I just don't, I, 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 we don't know what this life's all about. We just don't, we just don't know when, when the game's going to be over. And in what way that's all going to configure. And in a way, really, there's nothing truly to worry about, about any of that. But it's like, am I giving everything? That's my, that's my prayer. Am I truly giving to God? Am I truly giving to peace? Am I truly giving to forgiveness? Am I truly giving to love? Am I truly giving to my brothers? So I could take all of this back to transcend. So it was like that death brings about life, doesn't it, you know? It's really one and the same thing. It's sort of someone dies, it makes you want to live, you know? It's like, what, what the hell am I doing? That's what I spoke to my, to my friend about, who's just seemingly lost his dad. And it's like, well, yeah, really. We were talking about the material, he, that... Like he's been much more into the material and working really, really hard. And he's like, you know, now he's questioning that. Hold on a minute. Why am I doing this? I said, well, yeah, exactly. You know, how I see it is maybe, maybe it's better to set my day up through being kind and considerate than it is to think about what's best for, for this personal sense of self. So it makes us question everything. And it's like, yeah, that's what we're always doing. We're always wanting to question everything and really cement in place our commitment, our commitment to awakening. That's all, that's all there is. There's nothing else going on. So I need to be, I need to be completely firm in that. And to give, give peace a chance. <laughs> in every day, John was right, give peace a chance. And so from all of this, was really beautiful and this and, the, and this gentleness lesson it's like okay here's this gentleness lesson again i really really need to get this and um i spoke to her i said well yeah funny enough i said what happens to me is every time i feel like okay i'm ready for this softening and this gentleness to come in it's like the roar of the ego comes up because it's like it knows that 
that if I really follow down that road, it will be the end of the, the self that I made. It's completely the opposite. And he's like, do not go in that direction. So it's like, it rears up with its anger and its violence in my mind and aggressiveness to stop the ship from turning in the right direction. So it's like I was saying to her, like I feel like I make just a slight little turn to gentleness and then uh, all the all the demons come to haunt me to say, no, you are not moving in that direction. And it has actually crippled me a lot. It's like, oh my God, how the hell am I going to get through this? But it's like bit by bit, slowly by slowly, it's like, no, continue, continue to move in this direction. Don't be put off by it. And she said to me, oh, do you know what? She said, well, do you know what the the, 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 the tarot card of, of, stre of strength is? I said, no. She said, well, I think this is actually, this is actually your, your, your card. She said, because this is actually what happens. And it, and it is that there's um, like an angel. And what she is, is she's actually putting her hand into a lion's mouth. And the lion is completely submissive to her. And he knows that he's completely and utterly safe. And this is the true strength. And she's saying that that is like, you have tamed the, the wildness and you've come into true strength, tr true gentleness. I'm like, God, yeah, ain't that the truth? <laughs> and it was like, you know, she was giving me these lessons much, much more deeply to be like, okay, I'm really, really gonna go. I'm really, really gonna go in this direction. And so I, I made that a very, very deep prayer in my heart to be like, okay, I really, really want this. And of course, straight away, I could see all of a sudden my annoyance level started to go up <laughs> and I started to get a bit short. And my friend here, we were joining and she was saying like, I felt like you were getting angry and that, uh, you know, you were just trying to solve problems and it didn't feel like we were joining and I was like, yeah, thank you so much for bringing that up. I'm glad you, I'm glad you did because I was getting caught up into my old ways since obviously I put this prayer out there and uh, the ego does not like it. And it was like, yeah, I do want to join. Yeah, I don't want to be getting into this aggressive manner whereby I'm, I'm making just decisions on, on the spot and being a bit like Hitler. I want to really join and continuously go towards this lesson in a beautiful way. So I was grateful that she helped me come back and it was like, yeah, that's right, there, here it comes. To be fair, I could see it, but I just didn't know how to, I didn't know how to stop it. It was just coming up again and there's nothing really to stop. If it comes up, it comes up. It's just to be forgiven. You can't push the river. And, uh, but it actually helped that she, she had that reflection, like, no, I really want to join with you. I really want to be in this with you. And it's like, oh yeah, God, okay, good. I want to, I want that to be seen. So I can, so I can completely and utterly let go of it. And so that, that, that then created another space for softening. And so now we come into Wednesday and it's like everything's aligning up perfectly. And it's so funny because then last night, David plays one of my favourite movies and I play this movie a lot to help me with, with, with softening and not taking things so seriously. It's just been that perfect movie for defencelessness for me. It's like, it just shows it perfectly. The movie is The Man Who Knew Too Little. Just an amazing movie to show that like, yeah, don't be taking it too seriously because he thinks he's in a game. He thinks... He thinks he's in the theatre of life, which of course he is. And so he's not taking it seriously. And basically there's a ton of people wanting to kill him. But because he doesn't know it, he's just acting along with, with, with the whole thing in a very, very playful way, in a very, very joyful way. And it's really showing us that no matter what, and showing me, no matter what comes my way, I don't have to react in this aggressive way. I can just be in the theatre of life and just respond to it as it's coming, as it, as it is just a, just a play. It's nothing to be really taken seriously. There's nothing here to be taken seriously whatsoever. So I just thought, wow, there you go. It's like the gods are, <laughs> are saying, okay, 
and here's the movie that really touches you, that really helps you with getting in touch with this gentleness and this innocence and this defenselessness. And I thought, oh, this is perfect. This is this this movie's for me. And I watched it last night, and I, I just felt I just I just felt very peaceful for it. I've watched it so many times. I just I just enjoy laughing laughing to that movie. It's just so beautiful. It is a very very deep movie. Actually, it's extremely deep and extremely joyful. And after that, I felt very very calm. And then that was when. I woke up in the morning and just felt this complete and utter peace, which was just so beautiful. And it was just, again, as I started this talk, it's no idle gift. Like, no, I've got nothing better to do. I could see that there were some things to do, but it was like, no, I'm taking my time this morning. I'm taking more time. I'm taking as much time as it is as needed to be in this peace, to stay in this peace. And that's exactly what I did. Because why? Because we're worthy of that. We're worthy of that peace. And that's what we have to remember. The movie was uh, The Man Who Knew Too Little with uh, Bill Murray. Uh, and yeah, that's, that's just the most important thing. The most important thing is it, what, what was to strengthen that and to hold that in my heart. And to truly be with that. And it's like really. When you really really pray. And you really want things to shift. They will. They will completely and utterly shift. And this is what this is. This is what this is. Showing to me. That my prayers truly are being answered. And every single day. And every single step. There was just a beautiful gift. That was waiting for me. And that was in actual fact. What David was sharing last night. That we should be going into every day as that it's a gift, that it's an adventure of the unravelling in a very, very beautiful way, that there are so many miracles just waiting to happen. There is so much joy around every single corner, around every single encounter. And that's our attitude to be going into that, that it's just another unwrapping of the, of the present, of the gift of what, of what we are. And when we truly want that above everything else, everything becomes a miracle. And the world, the universe, bows to us to give us that lesson that is needed to transform in a very, very deep and very, very beautiful way. And that's what it felt like for me this week, is like leading up to the movie in what David shared. That was exactly what was happening. It was like everything was coming for a gift. Like, OK, this is another opportunity to get this lesson. That was it. That's what he was talking about. Like Jesus is only there, Holy Spirit is only there, God is only there saying, hey, here's another chance at this lesson. Did you get it yet? Did you get it yet? In a very soft and gentle way. It doesn't have to be hard. It's always being presented to you to be able to allow it to be released so you could see the light of what you are. And that's what I was seeing. It was like I was taking the breadcrumbs uh, since Sunday of watching the John Lennon movie. And now here we are. And I get to I get to share this. I get to strengthen it in my heart again. To be with it. And to remember this. To remember to, to, to remember that it's all there. It's all there just to unravel my self-concept. It's never about anything that's happening in time and space. This this session, this recording is nothing. It means absolutely nothing. It's it's worthless in and of itself. It doesn't, it doesn't mean a thing. What means a thing is unravelling that self-concept. That's all it is. And as long as I get that lesson, then it becomes everything. But everything that we're doing has to be part of our prayer. It has to be part of this unravelling. Otherwise, it is actually, actually pointless. But yet, those lessons will come round and, and he will continuously present himself. The same as the ego will. The ego is going to be trying to present itself that you are this worthless thing as what it tries to do to me. But what we do when we come together here is we are sharpening up that we want the true gift of the spirit to join in that true presence 
in that love and we are turning that ship sh slowly but surely in whatever our lesson might be. Whatever we're not wanting to go towards, that is what we need to go towards. And know that, you know, if you knew who walked with you, you wouldn't have that fear. That's what he teaches us. He teaches, God, these steps are so simple. Why? Because I'm with you. So even for me and sitting here and saying, it's only the personal self that's saying, I can't possibly reach this gentleness, this harmony. Because in truth, I can't. Because the personality is not going to get it. So it has to be given to me in a, in a deeper prayer. And so that's why really I'm just putting this out there and saying, okay, I am willing. I am willing to have this prayer be met. To have my mind changed completely and utterly. And that's all you have to do with whatever's going on for you. And it can be a very, very simple step. It doesn't ever have to be difficult. So all prayers are answered, always. Your prayers are being answered. And if you have something that's really on your chest, that needs to be raised up, and you need your next step to support in the awakening, then now is a good time to to join, I join you deeply in your prayer for this unravelling. So it can't be let go of forever. Thank you so much for joining me. Many blessings going into the week. Let's expect miracles. And I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye for now.